Are you implying I have an ulterior motive? No, I'm not implying anything. I'm stating it outright. You must want something. I assure you my motives are purely altruistic. I wanted to see my dear sister. I thought I'd save her the embarrassment of a newly released convict showing up at the mayor's I'm office. I'm sure she would have been far more concerned knowing that you came here where Esme and Ace were vulnerable. I had no intention of intimidating Esme or your brother. Quite the contrary, I was pleasantly surprised to find them home, and I enjoyed the little time I had with them. I meant them no harm. Yeah, Esme may have met you before, but she has no idea how dangerous you truly are. Like the Lord himself, I come in peace, and I am very disheartened to find you so unwelcoming. I thought we'd come to an understanding mm. in Pentonville. Yeah, you looked out for me while I was in Pentonville. And it would have been a lot tougher without your protection. So you see, my motives are only for the good of our family. And as I warned you, the only person you needed protection from was Victor Cassidy, not me. No need to be so suspicious of my visit today. Yeah, you were right about Victor Cassidy. And he did turn out to be exactly who you said he'd be. Ruthless. Sadistic. I'll take that as a thank you. Look, I know that I owe you for the way that you helped me out while I was in Pentonville, but I still know that you are a very, very dangerous person. Okay, you held Trina Robinson and her mother at gunpoint. You shot Curtis Ashford. And then you wanna know why I'm leery when you come around? It's because you're a threat. And I don't want you anywhere near my little brother. I'm not gonna deny that my past deeds were heinous but those were acts of a desperate man, a caged animal, and that man no longer exists. I have seen the light, and that light is our Lord and Savior, and he has forgiven and my sins, and my life is now devoted to helping supposed others. supposed to believe that you have repented because you can spout some rhetoric about finding God? You can believe whatever you want, Spencer. Calm down. But don't you forget, people gave you a second chance after you got out of prison. I'm only asking for the same courtesy. <laughs> Grandmother. Spencer, would you give me a moment alone with my brother? 